Hey Angela, it's Shannon with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to review this quick little video. The point of this video is to kind of show you why a website and Google business profile is important for your business. Um, I'm going to go over some things like content, backlinks, citations, and kind of show you what it all means and when it, what happens when it all comes together. So first thing I want to start out with is content. So Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words, depending on the competition and the number of keywords on your home page. A keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or a product. So Google likes information. So in that content, you can strategically place keywords to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be put in front of when people are searching for it. So for example, Residential commercial cleaning, Trenton, Michigan. You want Google to be able to tell their users, hey, this company is a residential or commercial or and commercial um, cleaning service for Trenton, Michigan. And so let's take a look at a couple of home pages from your area, some competitors, that sort of thing. So here was one. It's a good looking website, not a whole lot of content not very much to it. Pictures can be considered content as well as long as they are labeled and um, signed correctly. So here is another. Yeah, they could probably use a little bit of help. There's not a whole lot. Their website's not even secure. I'm not sure if they're still in business or whatnot, um, but definitely do not use this one as a sample. Here's another one that's ranking. So this is just a basic Google site. It's, um, it is ranking, but it's not, it's not very user friendly. It's not SEO friendly, which is search engine optimization. So you want a website that is going to work for you, not just a good looking website. And that's important too. The next thing I'd like to go over is backlinks. So a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via clickable text. The idea is that these links act like an endorsement for your business. And with this endorsement, others are vouching for you. The others are showing Google that, hey, they trust your business um, and you can do the job. It's almost like a popularity contest and the person with the most wins. However, not all backlinks are created equal. You definitely want quality versus quantity. So if I look at this one, you can see they have 465 backlinks, 104 referring domains, and they're definitely ranking. This one only has 32 and eight referring domains, but they're still ranking, so it could be quality. Again, two and two, not a whole lot there. Um, but they are ranking, so there's ways to do it. The third thing I just want to touch base on is a citation. So citation is anywhere you put your business name, number, and address exactly how it's shown for your Google business profile. And I'll kind of show you why that's important too. But these are just placed in various directories like Yelp, Expertise, Better Business Bureau. Um, there's thousands of these directories out there that you can list your business in. It's very tedious and time consuming, but it can be done. And these are what help you rank in the map pack, which is extremely important for local businesses since these can generate huge amounts of revenue. Revenue. I can't even talk today. Sorry, Angela. Um, and then once Google sees you more than your competitors, the more likely it is for your, them to rank you above them. So this is the Google map pack. This is where you want to aim to be. And you want to aim to be this in every area that you service in. So this one, I just did residential cleaning Allen Park. Okay. So you definitely want to aim to be here in Allen Park. Um, down here is what we call the organic listings. Again, you want to be on this first page. Most people don't go beyond the first three listings, let alone the first page of Google. So here's another reason. Commercial cleaning, you know, again, you got your one, two, and three here for your map pack. And that's what you want. That's exactly where you want to aim to be. And you'll target all these different areas on your website. So what that can mean for you. So let's go here. 
I can look exactly on here and see what organic words that they're listing for. So maid services in Detroit has 90 searches a month. Detroit maid service, 90. Cleaning services, Detroit has 300 searches a month. So that's a lot of volume that you're missing out on just on utilizing that keyword on your website. Um, again, they don't have any keywords popping up, but they are ranking. I can go in here and see what their backlinks are, where they're placed, and if it's a follow or no follow link. And that helps me to know exactly where to place your backlinks. Again, two backlinks, two referring domains, but they're definitely ranking, but they're not getting any sites. That's why they're listed on expertise. Um, but again, you want to make sure that you're not placing ads in like Angie's list, that sort of thing, because with Angie's list, for example, they're sending you a referral, but they're sending six other businesses that exact same referral and you're fighting for those leads. Um, so you definitely want to be able to get your own leads, get your own business, that sort of thing. The other thing I wanted to point out is let's take a look at the Google business profile. So this is what we call the Google business profile it has your website reviews. Reviews are important to have. Um, their website is listed. Here's a great little intro. You want to definitely put some keywords into those intros and that'll help get your name out there more. And the more you do this, the more likely you are to rank above these and rank number one. And again, you just go for the areas that you want to search or that you want to work in. And I can look at like this map. Okay. So, um, try to see here, Sterling Heights, Warren, Royal Oak. There's nothing right here in Royal Oak. Ferndale, Madison Heights. So those would be great places to target too. Highland Park. There's nothing there. So that's all an area that you'd want to target on your website and make sure that people know that you're available in that area. I hope this video was beneficial and not too long for you. I kind of wanted to do a little bit more for you um, just to kind of show you what all can be done. So if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Again, this is Shan with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing.